what's up you guys and welcome to the coffee break podcast i am your host melissa and this is my co-host pikachu pika pika <laughs> as some of you guys already know this is our special episode uh we just came from watching detective pikachu today yeah. Woo! Woo! Uh, sound, guy, <laughs> sound guy joy joy sound guy. <laughs> Sound guy Joy, I used to be a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> he was a nurse. Sound guy Joe was there with us too, and I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. It was a great movie. Spoiler alert! Oh yeah, big big <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, you have been warned uh, by both me and Melissa. Joe, you want to give a shout out of a spoiling alert? <laughs> I mean, like you want to not spoil it for like fifteen minutes to get that view in, and then spoil it afterward? No. <laughs> All right. <just> <laughs> You've been warned. You've been warned. <laughs> there was a spoiling alert image that came on before this video, so you should know by now. <laughs> yeah. But before that, we're going to talk about the coffee of the day. Which is the Vietnamese iced coffee, <laughs> which is actually one of my top number one coffees in the world. It is strong. It's also pretty cool how they do the Vietnamese iced coffee. So, of course, originated from Vietnam. Vietnam. <laughs> um... And so what they do is they get either like a medium roast or a dark roast uh, coffee grounds and they put like a little filter, like a metal filter over your glass of, uh, over your glass yeah. with a uh, sweet condensed milk. Uh, not condensed milk. Yeah, it is condensed milk. Right? That's what it's called? You got it. It is. I swear. You know what? Hold on. Let me check this up, guys. I don't want to be wrong. I really don't want to be wrong right now. Why is no one giving me what I want right now? <laughs> I was having the same issues earlier with the Bulbapedia website. Yeah. Oh, really? It's just a little bit confusing to nav- navigate. Just a little bit. Got you. Yes, it is sweet, sweet condensed milk. Okay. It's like that where you always have it in your fridge with tin foil wrapped around it. Just ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, still in the can. Still in the can. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your cup with the con- sweet condensed milk, and you have a metal filter on top of it. And you put the grounds of coffee uh, between um, between the cup and the filter. Mm-hmm. And you put hot water over it. And then what it does is slowly this seeps into the condensed milk. Oh. And then after it's done, you can really control how much water, like uh, hot water you want to put in, meaning how much coffee you want. And then after that, you mix it. And then you pour it over another glass of ice. And that's Vietnamese iced coffee. It is really strong. That's why they do, like, two to three tablespoons of, like, sweet condensed milk. Yeah, it's a thick layer on the bottom of the (laughs) cup. Like, it gives me a heart attack looking at it, but I'm still going to drink it. (laughs) And it's super, super strong. I drank it once at a pho place, and I was up to, like, 4 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, if you want to have it, you might want to do it, like, in the beginning of your day, you know. <laughs> yeah, I would assume so. Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried it? No, I've never had it. You never had no. it. No, we we have. We'll have to make it a trip. We do. <laughs> we have to and vlog it. Too. But it has to be like early <laughs> in the morning, cause. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're really sensitive to coffee, and like just a light roast wakes you up, yeah. Then yeah, yeah, it's gonna <laughs> wake you up. <laughs> but yeah, that's our coffee of the day. One of my favorites. Pika Pika. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously today we're going to be talking about uh, Detective Pikachu. We just went to go see it and Woo. now we're going to talk about it. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> I really liked the movie and the graphics. Yes, yes, it was so nicely done and it was, I was impressed. There were some things here and there that we both caught on to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like um, you caught the, the guy that was just like doing the movements and weren't matching up to the... The, anim- yeah. the character animated yeah. guy where he was like trying to pet his Charmander like, yeah, I'm okay, buddy. Yeah. But his hand was like two to three inches away from the Charmander. So he was just like... Um, uh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> who, you, we, can't, you can't win no. all the time. So it's it's fine. Like I've seen it in like Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've seen it they in... They did their best either yeah, way. Yeah. Like I've seen it in, I think it was The Hobbit. Like it happens all the time. Oh, yeah. Where it's just like... like if I don't know if everyone anyone remembers, but it, or if... Who has seen Harry Potter, um, the first one, um, where you see the the snitch, the flying snitch, and mm-hmm. like you'll see 
um, Oliver Wood would be like looking in the complete opposite direction of Harry's eye, like, like I forgot what it was called. His where his sight, basically his eye movements were going, and uh, it was basically the snitch mm-hmm. every time he would move his head. So it would be like the movement of the snitch. But the other guy, the other actor, he was like <laughs> looking that way and like. Daniel Radcliffe's looking straight ahead or something. I thought that was hilarious. But we saw it a lot. I will at least you saw. It. I didn't catch it, um, but we saw that in in the movie. Yeah, I mean they were just like background characters, so I wasn't too yeah. disappointed. It was just funny to catch them here and there. <laughs> like it just like it was mostly with Charmanders too. Like every <laughs> one guy was trying to pet his Charmander. But the Charmander was facing the other way, yeah. and he was like looking at the back of Charmander's head, and I was like, "Oh, someone forgot to flip him." <laughs> but I mean, the graphics were still pretty cool, yeah. and still, you know, they look like Pokemon, yeah, like um, you know, some movies, <laughs> Sonic. But I'm so glad they're fixing Sonic, though. So, by the way, I just want to say for those of you who are complaining about how Sonic looked, you know, they are fixing it. So you actually need to go watch Lusty. it and support them because y'all demanded him to change it. <laughs> so y'all need to go and support them. That's one thing. Especially because the fixing is probably going to be crunch time for animators. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A so lot of... Let their help. <laughs> movie, please. Please watch the movie. Support the animators and artists at least because even like... They the, work hard. They work really hard. <laughs> the Pokemon in this movie was amazing. Like, yeah. all these people work so hard. Yeah. So you have to go watch Sonic if they changed it and made it look the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. So, just saying. That's my announcement. <laughs> <laughs> At least as advice. <laughs> if you don't want to support the movie, support the artist. At least yeah. all the people working on it. Because that's a lot of work to fix. That's so much work. Because it's not just <laughs> changing the character and plugging it into the animation. Yeah. It's like you have to edit, like, the furs moving on yeah. him. And, like, the lightning bolts. Because, like, what if the There's new... There's lighting to Yeah, the lighting, about. the stylized yeah. of, like could be different height from the one character yeah. to the next character all this you know we're artists yeah. so. <laughs> we understand we the pain this. we study this and we cringe and cry for them <laughs> basically basically that's why i'm just like oh well that's why sometimes i like i will now i do but um before i never waited for like the credits the ending credits but now i take the time to read mm-hmm. the credits and yeah see who did what mm-hmm. and like try to like google them or Mm -hmm. look up information of who they are yeah look for their website and just check out their art just because it's a good way to appreciate the the work that they do because it's a lot it's a lot of work it's a lot of work that's why i don't think i could be an animator Uh, (laughs) no yeah kudos to them Mm -hmm. they have the patience (laughs) just oh i remember we were in school and our uh the animation teacher was sam chan he uh he was really good and I remember he was showing us a bit from uh, Ice Age, the third one, where they found oh, the dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah. And so you remember the, what's the squirrel's name again? I forgot his uh, name. Scrap. But Scrap. Yeah. He found a female squirrel. And, <laughs> you know, they were doing the little dance with the acorn. Okay. So they did a step by step how many um, key frames it took, how many, like, key poses like, they did the animatic first, and then they did the key poses, yeah. and then they did in-betweens, and then they did the in-betweens, yeah. in-betweens. It's just so and, many steps. Yeah, that took them a month. Yeah. Almost a month to do that one scene out of, a, like, a hour or two, yeah. like, movie long. Like, it's crazy. It took crazy. me, like, a more than a week to do a 3D animation movie. Like, a, a movie. Uh, like, a 3D, like, short little clip of running. Yeah, like a of, like, running someone running. 3D. I was like... I don't think I could do this. No. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh my gosh. So when yeah. like the credits go and then there's the artists and the animators, I'll stare at the names and I'll pick one person or a few people and yeah. be like, thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Daryl, you did a great job. <laughs> oh, girl, did you model that, <laughs> Tiffany? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. we love and support the artists as well. Yeah. So mm-hmm. shout out to them. For yeah. Sure. Shout out. <laughs> but we love the movie. It was Detective Peach, Pikachu is just so nicely done. It also kind of reminded me of Zootopia, just like how you go, it, yeah, you get into the whole city area. There's a lot of like, oh, okay, that that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But um, like seeing the the I, the merge between uh like reality mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then having Pokemon into this universe is just 
so nicely done. Mm-hmm. I I really appreciated that. That was really cool. Seeing how um, each Pokemon would play a role in doing things in the city and people having their not their pet but their buddy just like with mm-hmm. them. yeah i was cool. just like yeah. don't you have a pokemon with you <laughs> <laughs> yeah that like, like that's what everyone thing. was asking yeah mm-hmm. so like it was something that was just normal for everybody to have one yeah <laughs> trying not to get the coffee to hit any of the materials <laughs> uh, but yeah it was really cool like it made me want one it made me want like that to be real okay which what which pokemon <laughs> Which Pokemon will be your one and only that walks everywhere with you? God, that's hard. <laughs> uh, I would have to say Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur? Yeah. I love Bulbasaur. Yeah. He does. He's doesn't get enough credit. Bulbasaur. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's always like, it's a Charmander and Squirtle. Yeah. And I'm like, Bulbasaur yeah. is alive too, guys. <laughs> and they are just as great as the rest of them. <laughs> Who would you pick? Uh, I would get an Eevee and yeah evolve it to an Ombreon because that's one of my top favorite really mm-hmm. Ombreon and Espeon's my two top favorite Pokemon okay because that's kind of like I do you remember any of the GameCube Pokemon games like Coliseum or like the Shadow Pokemon it was like no I've never played those my friend showed me it and it's a fun game on GameCube yeah and um you get an Eevee and you get to pick in the store which e like which stone to evolve your Eevee. Oh, you don't right. have to, yeah. but they're saying, "Yeah, you should." Yeah. Cuz you're trying to go against dark forces. Yeah. <laughs> and uh I went in and I only did Espeon and Ombreon and at first I was like Espeon all the way, but then yeah. I had Ombreon, Ombreon was like kicking butt yeah. everywhere and I was like, <laughs> "I love Ombreon." <laughs> and I was dressed up as Ombreon for Comic-Con for like a year. <laughs> Not a year, but one for one year. A yeah, year yeah. of Ambreon every day. <laughs> I would have that, this Eevee with me the yeah. whole time, and I'd be like, let's evolve! <laughs> or Bulbasaur, too. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he, they are great. Yeah, I always really liked um, uh, Bulbasaur and uh, Oddish for some reason. I was just always really obsessed with those, too. Oddish, uh-huh. Yeah. That's why it made me sad. I didn't see any Oddish in the movie. Mm-mm. I don't know. I'm probably wrong, but I saw. I didn't, I didn't see, see any. I expected no. him to see, like, to see them, like, running around in the forest. Mm-hmm. Even though most, uh, like, I don't know if anyone knows this, but Oddish usually come out at night, so it would it would make sense that you don't see them out, mm-hmm. in, but uh, during the day. Mm-hmm. But I would have wanted to see it. <laughs> Right? Yeah. What is that? They're nocturnal. That's what I meant to say. No, that's you. You're nocturnal. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you bond so well with them. What is that one Pokemon? It's the two-headed bird. I don't want to say the name wrong. That's why I'm not saying um, it. Um, Doduo? Doduo. Doduo. Yeah, okay. I, it was, but I didn't want to say it. Um, <laughs> Doduo was in the first scene. It's not really a spoiler alert, but he was in the first scene just walking in a field. Yeah. And But he was going sideways, and the first thing I was like, Zombie apocalypse, got it. <laughs> you know, I was surprised not, uh, not seeing any milk tank because there were some parts or some scenes that were oh, like in yeah. the countryside. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't see any milk mm. tank, so that was kind of odd. Taurus, that's the buffalo looking one, it, it right? Wasn't, it wasn't a Taurus. It wasn't? No, it was wasn't. It? No, it, it wasn't. was like a longhorned type of Pokemon. I'm talking about the one in the field, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so hold on, I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take care of it, but... I would have looked it up on my Pokédex, but they are not in this gen for Pokemon Go. Well, Buffalant. Buffalant. Okay, there you go. <laughs> never, what a never seen that. I am so behind name. in the gen. I'm, not I'm very... Lie. Yeah, because <laughs> it's not really spoiling alert, but I mean, you already know. But there's a mushroom one. Pokemon in oh, the yeah, movie. Oh, yeah, the little tiny yeah. ones. They were um, bioluminescent. Yeah. I thought that was cool. That was cool. I just... I've never, never seen, seen it, yeah. <laughs> I was expecting the ice cream Pokemon to appear in there because I know there's one that looks like ice cream and I kind of want to see it like floating around, <laughs> just dripping everywhere because <laughs> he's sweating 24-7 or something like that. Because I just had like a moment, I was talking to Joe, sound guy, about Pokemon and I was saying, huh, it's weird how when Pokemon evolve, they have clothes appear on them because what's the, the frog Pokemon, the one that was in the movie, the blue one, the ninja? Uh, oh. I can't pronounce it right, so I never... I don't remember what uh, it's called. Uh, the, the mushroom Pokemon is Moralo, and Moralo. you're thinking of Greninja. 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 So Greninja had like a scarf thing, and I was like, hey, yeah, how did Greninja... Well, the scarf is its tongue. tongue. Yeah, yeah, that creeped me out. Because I was like, excuse me? 
that what what yeah. it, it creeped me out and it's a weird concept like seeing it in like re- yeah real life or live action uh it was really weird not gonna lie yeah because <laughs> my trump the strong my champ, my champ i keep ugh, my champ <laughs> um he has we'll like a speed i know right it's been a while he's we got should like have done a belt research. Yeah, he has a belt and a speedo, but that's yeah. part of his skin. That's his skin, yeah. <laughs> and it's so weird to me because that the new fairy type Eevee, silver. Oh yeah, Sylveon. 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 Yeah. Wow, we're not doing good. Why, why am I not up there? <laughs> I mean, you can always come in anytime. But Sylveon, 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 Sylveon. Together now, Sylveon. Okay, fine, whatever. So. She has like a little bow, like a little yeah. bow tie. That's part of her skin. And, like, ribbons, but it's like, it's part of its body. Skin tissue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is literally imagine like a bone connecting from her throat to the little button right there, and bones just making into a bow with yeah. like bones. Uh, I think way too much into it. <laughs> but is it was creepy to me, like a yeah. realization of like that is their skin yeah. that's on them. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, oh, like, how would they, how would they make that in, like, li- its live-action form? Or, like, I I kind of want to just... Special effects. Yeah, I want to see a movie of just, like, Ash that never ages go through, like, all the different gen <laughs> Pokemons and, like, all these animators and artists just getting paid to make them look real. And yeah. I want to see that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> that coffee's coming back up. <laughs> um, Gengar the ghost yeah, pokemon yeah he's also one of my favorites yeah well, not, not gengar but ghastly is my favorite his um the oh. first stage of evolution ghastly yeah that's, that's hunter. one right hunter oh no this is hunter yeah oh ghastly is the ball yeah, yeah mm-hmm. the ball of gas yeah, the ball of gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um i love this <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> and i stopped trying to um like uh, know all the pokemon i stopped trying to update myself on what is what because it's too much i just let the kids tell me what pokemon is what (laughs) um but gengar was one of the creepiest ones i seen. he was very creepy and that part where he's battling it's just like it was very creepy very because like it was the skin was super textured for some yeah. odd reason, and it didn't even look like scales. It, like, looked like a mix between, like, fur and mist. Yeah. Like, it, it was just... His skin looked like he was coming off, kind of. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, I know he's a ghost Pokemon, but dang. Yeah. He don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> and I like Blastoise, how they modeled him. Oh, yeah. He, it was, was really a, cool. A spot on. Yeah. Spot on with these Pokemon. Although, I did notice that there were a lot of, like first um generation first evolution oh evolution like, mm-hmm. i mean we obviously did get to see blastoise charizard and um several like the first gen final evolution forms for most of the pokemon but for like a lot of the um other generations of uh pokemon that we didn't get to see their final evolution form which is kind of odd but yeah. i mean it's a lot of work i it, get it it is a lot of work but you also have to consider that um, they don't fight anymore. They're trying to live yeah. with each other, and the only way for them to evolve is if they're growing in that sense of, like, yeah. fighting. I mean, probably some of them already evolved because they probably fought before, and now they live in a new, like, world where they're like, oh, yes, we're together, like, yeah. Pokemon humans work together kind yeah. of thing. like, living in harmony. Yeah, living in harmony. <laughs> so a lot of them doesn't evolve because there's no need for them to evolve unless maybe yeah. one day they're like, I want to change. Yeah, because evolve. it did seem like battling was um, underground. Yeah, it was so. underground because they yeah. don't do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So all the underground Pokemon was evolved already because they've been fighting. Yeah. That's, yeah, like, there wasn't a lot of Charizard <laughs> other than the two that we saw. Yeah. Yeah. It was just, like, two of them, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, and yeah. it was, like, that one Blastoise. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then we Gengar. saw, yeah. Yeah. But because a lot of like the Squirtle were working for the fire department, which is really funny. Yeah, I love how they were working for the fire department. It was so cute of just them squirting at the fire to like, and then one couldn't reach the fire, so he's like, boop. Yeah, he like walked up to the little like flame and he's just yeah. like, boop. Yeah. 
<laughs> you did it. <laughs> good job. Yes, they did a good job of making all of them like really, really freaking adorable. They, yeah, they were so <laughs> cute. Like, especially, of course, Pikachu yeah. was the most adorable thing ever. When he went to go fight, he was like, oh, God, I can't do this. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. And he's just freaking out. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It yeah. was it was really funny. But yeah, it was just they were so cute. Yeah. I want them all. <laughs> I know, especially when the Bulbasaur came out, he's like, Oh, come with us. I'll yeah. help you. Mm-hmm. Come over here. <laughs> I was like, Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> so cute. I love all of them. I love the part with the giant um the one that they were experimenting on, the other one. With the territory. oh yeah territory Tor- Torterra. 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 yeah I want to say Tortuga but I know that's so wrong <laughs> um that's Pirates of the Caribbean I know <laughs> <laughs> I love pirates but yeah I thought that was a cool part how oh yeah they, like, they made him like super gigantic yeah they made him yeah I was like oh that's crazy yeah. <laughs> I Could love you them. imagine that reminds me of like the story of like the hand of Midas and like the vanishing island. The where there's island. like the vanishing island was on the top on the back of a turtle's oh shell. yeah 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 uh-huh that just kind of reminded me of that because <laughs> yeah. it's gigantic it was huge yeah because they the earth started shaking and i thought it was like mewtwo bending stuff yeah. and all of a sudden it's like oh no it's a pokemon well with that whole scene i felt like kind of dragged on just a little bit a little it bit it was just like just forced action onto you like to mm-hmm. see action which was like there was already so much going on. It was just like a little bit. It dragged on a little too much because mm-hmm. like, it didn't. To me, it didn't seem like it progressed the story any more than. than true, but I think they just wanted to show like, oh yeah, this yeah, is the like, experiment. This is, yeah, this is like yeah, the full blown. This is the full blown. Yeah, I think that's the, what they were doing. Yeah. Which I mean, I liked it, but yeah, it was a bit dragged on because it kept going and going and going. Yeah. I was like, what is happening? Because <laughs> I was waiting, and I'm like, I'm impatient too. I'm like, what's yeah. happening? What's going on? Oh, okay. It's a giant Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I like Justice. His name's Justice Smith, right? The actor, the main actor. Uh, yeah. Yes. Probably. Yes. Right, yeah. It's Justice Smith. Yeah. I love him so much. He's like, yeah. have you seen he's, Jurassic World? Yeah. Yeah. The he's fairly Kingdom. new actor. Mm-hmm. And I, I only recently just started seeing him in some movies and he was really, really good. Oh He's, yeah, yeah. I could see him doing a lot more for more movies too. Yeah, I love, I love him so much because like, he's very good at uh changing his character to like a better development in the oh, story. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I honestly liked how the movie didn't show like him giving up on Pikachu because you know how a lot oh, of the, yeah. like the main characters like no I'm done with this I can't do this yeah. like the hero's journey yeah but it was kind of like a twist like Pikachu was like I, I can't do this right now yeah and he's like no let me save you too <laughs> <laughs> let's do this together yeah. <laughs> and I like that they didn't do a cliche thing where it's like him leaving Pikachu mm-hmm. so I mean they still separate at some yeah. time which I mean I wish they didn't do that because mm-hmm. it's in every movie yeah but they still came back together yeah. so I was okay with that <laughs> Yeah, the story for the movie was pretty, pretty predictable. Yeah, but it still was pretty good. Like the pacing was really, really nice mm-hmm. for the movie. Like everything didn't seem like it was happening so fast. Like that's been happening a lot with yeah with certain movies. Um, it's been rushed. Yeah, just yeah. everything seems to just happen like super quick, mm-hmm. and you're just left like kind of guessing or having to figure things yeah. out on your own. Or and, like yeah, it's and, solved right away, which yeah. is like. Oh no, something got stolen. And yeah. then like you're like, "Oh, they'll find out at the end of the movie." 2 minutes later they found it. And you're yeah. like, "Oh. <laughs> what? What's going on?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like this one didn't feel that way. It mm-hmm. felt like everything was nicely paced. It was. Yeah. I love the cube bomb part. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, get the cube on. And he's like, why? Because he's lonely, just like me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, feisty cube bone right there. Yeah. It was funny that, like, seeing the main character want, like, absolutely nothing to do with Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, the yeah. different from Ash Ketchum, yeah. who, like, never ages. Yeah. And he <laughs> always loves, like, being around Pokemon and wants yeah. to explore Pokemon and all that stuff. Yeah. And then you have... Tim, who's just like, ah, I don't want anything to do with Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> yeah. It's total, total opposite. Total opposite. Yeah. <laughs> but I liked it. I didn't really like, I mean, 
she was cool the lucy character. okay yeah the female she, character. yeah the female character she was pretty cool i like her outfit and yeah, her outfit was yeah, cool. Yeah, it was cute. <laughs> um, I like her. Like, I like how they weren't focused on them like building getting a rela- together. Like, yeah, yeah, like building a romantic relationship. Like, it was. Just, yeah, like, she I, was I, I like that too because mm-hmm. it was. It would have been really cliche. I mean, it kind of was, but it. It's, yeah. It would have been really, really cliche if they milked it for all of that it was worth, mm-hmm. which they did not do. Which is like, something that I thought yeah. was really cool. I love her side duck. He's just. <laughs> Can he, we just say? Psyduck kind of did steal a little bit of the spotlight. Spotlight, yeah, but I love it. A little bit. But he was really good. I really, really liked the I love the, the banter. Psyduck, yeah. yeah. He's just like, what was it? Pikachu didn't want to be near him. He's yeah, like, it's going he's, to explode. He's like a ticking time bomb. He's a ticking time bomb, yeah. He's all like, no, no, get mad. Don't get mad. <laughs> this would be the perfect time to get I'm mad. mad. <laughs> or get a headache. And he's, yeah, a headache, yeah. And he's like a little baby to Lucy. Yeah. So Lucy's always like, stay in the car, okay? Come on, Sida. <laughs> she put him in a baby, like, carry on in the back. <laughs> And he's like, yep, this They're is the life. They're like the kitty chairs for like kids. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, like the, what's it called? The, um, the kid, the car, the car kid's seat. car seat. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, how I'm in a baby's car seat. Yeah. And Pikachu fits right into <laughs> all buckled up and everything. So it's Psyduck and Psyduck's just like, I'm loving this. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I love the Mr. Mime. Oh my god! Get like little like interaction. Yeah, that was how funny. like Tim was just like, no, no, I got this, and interacts <laughs> as like he would with a mime. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, just like the whole interaction, that whole scene with Mister Mime was pretty funny. I thought it was gonna be like really cheesy, but it wasn't. It was really funny. Like, P- like Pico- Pikachu was gonna fight him or something <laughs> like that to get the information, and Tim was like, no, 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 bro, I yeah. got this, and he. <laughs> he basically figuring out that playing Mr. Mime's game work can work against him too, mm-hmm. which is really funny. It's so funny how you can hear the door like, <laughs> yeah, open. He's I, like, click, click, yeah, when like, he was like doing something with a mug and you hear him tap, tap the mug, you mm-hmm. can hear it. That that I thought that was funny as heck. Even when Tim opened the door, it was still making noises. Like there, <laughs> no one was using their mouth. It was Mr. Mime using his powers, yeah. or when he was like running, he was running in place. <laughs> And he goes on his oh motorcycle, you gotta make it stop, you gotta make it stop. And he stops and crashes and uh. That was funny. That, that was great. I love also the, what's the, Magikarp? Magikarp, where oh, he yeah, got where out he, of, yeah. He like Can got, they die from out of water? You know, I don't know, but probably. But I mean, I feel like the stress of him being out of water would probably just make him evolve. Yeah, because that's what happened. Yeah. And Essentially. Because she's like, they just need a kick to evolve, and he kicks it. And he's like, well. He just spins. Yeah, he just spins. Just a little, little bit. He's like, well, that was, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> and then he evolved after being so yeah. stressed because he wasn't in the water. Yeah. Shoot. And those Pokemon are so hard to evolve into a Gyarados. I remember I that was know, like right? my yeah, that was like my like main purpose of one. I think it was Emerald. I got a Magikarp and I had the sharing XP oh the yeah XP yeah. sharing coin and you give it to like your strongest one and it gives XP to all of them right yeah. so I, I in Hearthstone it's like a crown thing yeah it was like a crown <laughs> on one it's like a little bracelet you yeah and something so it's different in every game mm-hmm. I guess so or like one with like a coin and he's like ding and uh, <laughs> so I put it with my my strongest one so the rest of my cute little Pokemon's can get stronger yeah and um I remember I was like oh sweet and I thought he was gonna evolve. You know, like, yeah. all the other Pokemons evolved after a while. Yeah. And then he's just still a Magikarp until, like, level 70-something. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, maybe I can use you. But he still has Splash. That's all he has <laughs> was Splash. And I tried going against a gym leader, and it's like, yeah, Gyarados. Not Gyarados. Magikarp. You still have Splash. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, it was this. oh, I'm against Electric Pokemon. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, I was done. I was like, no, 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 no. Switch out, switch out, switch out. <laughs> And yeah, he finally got to become a Gyarados, but he would not listen to me for the longest time. Really? Made me mad. Yeah. I never had that issue. Everyone never has that issue. <laughs> I don't understand that. Because I had um Pokemon X. That's what the blue Charizard, right? I think. I don't. I don't it was remember. Pokemon X or Y. And I had it. And you know you can trade Pokemon. Yeah. So I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to trade Pokemon. So I trade my level three Charmander, and I got back a level twenty six 
Charmander, and um, I was like, oh, cool, like, I have a level 26, and I was starting, like, I just started, and I <laughs> trade, and I got this, so I was like, sweet, so when he evolved to a Charmander, and I was like, uh, not, not Charmander, to a Char... Chameleon. Chameleon, yeah. Forgot about Charmeleon. <laughs> so when he go into a Charmeleon, I was like, yeah, let's go, and I'm like, use, like, Slash or something, he's like, oh, he's not responding, and I go, what? And every time he was like, he's like, ah, he didn't feel like it. Yeah. And a few times he went back in the ball and then made another Pokemon go out. And I was like, excuse you, <laughs> excuse you. And everyone's like, oh, once you get the the, the gym badge for oh. like level thirty, then you can. But every time I went to level thirty one, he went to a level forty. So oh. every single time I went to the next what one, he would go up. Bag. Yeah. And I was like. <laughs> Oh my god, I think I have Ash's Charizard right now. Because when he evolved evolve into a Charizard, I made him learn fly, and he did not want to fly when I asked him to. He did that not sucks. want to fly. He would say, like, eh, he's not responding right now. And I go, what do you mean he's not responding? <laughs> he, what do you mean he's not responding? That happened to my sister with her Eevee. Because I traded oh, really? her an Eevee, and um, for some reason, the Eevee just refused to listen to her. And I was like... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Not my problem anymore. That's why I gave it to you. <laughs> no, the EV played, they paid attention to me. I just don't what know. What level she, were you, though? Oh, I was like 50 something. I what think level was she? I don't know. <laughs> then it probably, probably had the same left. thing yeah. to me where a higher Pokemon did not want to listen to me. And I was just like, what are yeah. you doing? <laughs> we got to win. You're flying away. <laughs> got another spa yeah, treatment going but... on. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know that could happen in a game. I was like, oh, it happens in the animation, the movies, yeah. but it happens in the game. Yeah. Apparently, it happens in the game. It made me so <laughs> mad. I was like, oh, well, what's the point of getting yeah. a Charmander that doesn't listen to you? So I was like, oh, man. But I still kept him with me the entire time until I finally, like, got all the gyms, yeah. um, gym badges. And he finally listened to me on, like, the near the end of the game. And I was like, I love you, too. <laughs> Have you ever managed to catch a shiny? A shiny? No. Yeah. No? Mm-mm. It's really hard. But I caught one. <laughs> yeah, it was a hoot hoot, though. I'm like, it was a hoot hoot? Yeah. Hoot hoot. <laughs> yeah, it was a hoot hoot. And I was like, it's still of shiny. all of the Pokemon. <laughs> you got a hoot hoot shiny. <laughs> shiny hoot hoot. The uh, my friend feather went, shine. Like, at the time, I was at my friend's house, and um, I was just playing because uh, he was doing something else, and uh, my sister and I were just hanging out with him for like just a good while at his place and we were talking about pokemon and uh i asked him like what are the chances of like getting a shiny like i've never caught one or even mm-hmm. seen one or i don't know and then he starts looking it up because he's one of those types of people oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> that will just like look up everything you talk about um and he's like oof you'll it's like he pulled up numbers and uh he was like that's like like a little bit of percentage to yeah. find a shiny and uh, right right as he said that i uh a hoot hoot came out uh, i was just like wandering out yeah and a hoot hoot uh like appeared. came out appeared mm-hmm. and it like showed the little stars and i was like uh it's I, a shiny. It's a shiny i just found a shiny and he's like what <laughs> he like loses it i'm like yeah uh i guess and so i catch it and i was like okay that's pretty cool i caught my first shiny but Yay. it's a hoot hoot <laughs> and which which game in heart gold heart gold yeah the, i really like heart the gold DS version or the the ds, DS version. version yeah okay the the or light game boy one mm-hmm. <laughs> the ds light the ds light yeah um i got uh i got heart gold and i was gonna get the stone silver is that what it's called Soul Silver, um, but I never got it. <laughs> mm. I only got Heart Gold because um, it was a friend of mine's, and he's like, "Here, I don't play it anymore, so here you mm. go." And I was like, "Oh my God, your your Pokemon follows you around outside its Pokeball." Yeah, and it's I was super like, cute. That's so cool. That was mm-hmm. in the other games, and uh, and he told me all the history behind it and whatever. And I was like, "Why didn't they add this to like the rest of them?" I know. <laughs> They can still do it in, like, yeah. the older Game Boy Advance and everything like that. Yeah, like, I, it's just really cool, like, that you get a Pokemon to follow you around. I know, it was <clears> super <throat> cute. And then the one for Switch is pretty cool, too. Yeah, I want to get it so, so bad. so 
much better. Yeah, the, the let's art. Go Pi- yeah, let's go Pikachu. Let's go Pikachu, Pikachu and let's Eevee. Let's go Eevee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We well, can get a shiny of the different Pokemon. In yeah. That game, yeah. <laughs> Which to me is just like it shines so bright. The sun it blinds me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes me think of it. <laughs> but I I gave up playing it after Heart. Uh, for the new updated Heart one. Yeah. I gave up on that. And then I went and got X, and then I was like, I didn't finish Heart. Why am I going to finish this one? So I didn't finish. Yeah, like when X and Y came out, I was like, oh, I want to play it, and blah, blah, And I never got around to it. Yeah, because it was cool, like, the X Pokemon, where they're, like, super powerful. Yeah, yeah like, the, that. um, that's the reason yeah. I got it. Some of the super Pokemon that came out, around, I think that was that gen, or no? Yeah. Yeah. Um, after that, I was kind of fell out of it. To be honest, like just the new gens just didn't get my attention. To be honest, yeah, but it's true. <laughs> yeah, but I still like Pokemon. I mean, I still play. I still Pokemon love it. Go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like some Pokemon where I've seen like the new generation. Like one was this like I forgot what it was. Like the ice cream one. I keep saying like <laughs> it's just it's ice cream. And I'm like, <laughs> one's oh. a chandelier. Yeah, and one's a, a chandelier and a candle. And I was like. And then some of them started looking like dinosaurs. I'm just like, oh. I'm down with the dinos. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm like those. Like, oh, this is cool. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. And bunnies, like, yeah, a lot of bunny actually. But yeah, I mean, it's still a great series. I love it. <laughs> I love it a lot. The movie's good. You should go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> go watch the movie like right away. <laughs> it's amazing. But, yeah, I think that's all our time for today. Um, anything else you want to add, Melissa, before um, we close this out? No, not really. Just love the movie. Everyone should go see it. It's amazing and hilarious. Mm-hmm. And in, it was a really wholesome movie. Yeah. Overall, Daddy Ryan Reynolds is in <laughs> Oh, and the um the guy that's in Deadpool is also in this. Oh, yeah. which made it really hilarious. His the taxi driver. Friend. Yeah, the taxi I driver. His name was. Oh, I don't know. But he's in this too, which made it really, really like ironic and funny, just mm-hmm. the sheer fact that he's in it too. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, the movie was great. It was, you know, it was a bit predictable, but it also had like its own touch and twist to it, mm-hmm. and it just. It caught my attention, and I liked it a lot. And she doesn't like going to the movies. No, so. I know. I hate going to the movie theaters. The whole time we were at the movie theaters, it was just so stressful for me. Oh, my gosh. But this is like, if I really want to see that movie, I will go watch it. Yeah. So, yeah, this was, it was a, if I'm going to the movie theaters, watch it, it was good. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Please like and uh, subscribe. share, subscribe yeah to uh to our podcast and of course this is sponsored to you by elite 23 shopping you need new fashion you need new clothes go stop by at our elite 23 shopping.com website and get some new styles especially with summer coming along you want to look great (laughs) so go in put cbp c b p (laughs) at your checkout for 30 percent off your total purchase so yeah Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with all your families, with all your friends, all the fans of Pokemon. (laughs) And from your friendly Pikachu, Pika Pika. Bye. Bye.